So I was thinking like maybe every video until Ocean's 8 comes out, I like my outfit is like an ode to that movie, even though I haven't seen it yet. Today is just this striped top. I was just wearing it. Kate Blanchett might wear it like in a more casual look. I feel like she's always just really like nice. On to like actual content. April reading wrap up. I only read five books this month, which is totally fine. So the first book that I read this month is Fun Home, a Family Tragic Con by Alison Bechtel. It is my first reread of this year and I decided to reread it because I'm seeing, well I saw, the musical actually today, which I absolutely loved. It was, it was so good. So the graphic novel is a memoir about her relationship with her father and like her growing up so you get to see her through the years as a kid as a teen and when she comes out to her her family she learns that her dad is also gay but like soon after she comes out her father kills himself and it's kind of like her delving into their relationship it's a really great book if graphic novels aren't really your thing and you're more into literature i would say this is like a good bridge for that because there is a lot of references to to literature because her father was a high school english teacher and that was one of like their cornerstones of their relationship the next book i got was brave enough by cheryl Strait. I actually visited the library this month. So this is just basically a book of quotes that Cheryl has said herself and that she kind of aggregated into this one little book. I was also kind of in a reading slump and this kind of helped with that because it's super quick to get through. They're all like really inspirational quotes. So this is a cute little book if you're looking for something light but also kind of like hits you, you know, but in a good way, like a healthy cry. I didn't cry but like you get what what I'm saying. The next book that I read was Giant Days, not in the test edition. It is another graphic novel. It is a collection of volumes one through eight, I believe. And I have been familiar with this graphic novel for a, a bit, but I hadn't read it. And it follows three girls in university or in college, because they're American, and their life. It does follow a linear pattern, but it's they're not back to back so you just kind of get excerpts from their life and what's happening it's really fun it's cute i really enjoy the illustrations the next book i actually own i just can't find but it's eat shoots and leaves by lynn trust it is a book about grammar and you're like that's a weird book to pick up i had heard about this book i mean it's a quite known grammar book but i think i heard about it when i was in university from like professor it's not something that you necessarily pick up if you want to like learn about grammar you do like you definitely learn about grammar but like it's she's more writing it at for grammar nerds i think i think that's her audience and like she kind of goes through like history and like the evolution of like you know periods semicolons and so forth but in a very tongue-in-cheek way it's an interesting read and the last book that i read this month is the turn of the screw and other short novels by henry james it's the first henry james book that i've read i got it because i wanted to read the turn of the screw because i like some mysterious creepiness, but like at a, a level that I can digest. Most of these short stories I really enjoyed. There was like one or two like I found boring. It was a nice taste of Henry James and I did quite like the mysteries. If you want like a nice kind of unnerving something weird was happening but we quite we don't quite know what it is, read. It's a nice taster. So those are the books I read this month. Let me know what you read this month and uh, if you've seen Fun Home or if you listened to the cast album because I just adored it. Let me know how you're doing and whatnot. And that is it. Bye guys. Maybe like people from Ocean's 8 will see this and like let me go to the premiere and like give me a new wardrobe. I don't know what that has to do with the movie but like I just just need some trousers.